Hello everyone, this is uh, the first video lecture, really, for the Introduction to Counseling course for Spring 2021. My name is Rich Wedemeyer. I'll be facilitating the course for you. And so what I would suggest you do, because we're going to discuss the syllabus specifically, is to open up the syllabus, which is in Canvas, and at the same time, watch and or listen to this video. Okay? That way you can follow along. And I would suggest you do that if you're using the videos from this point forward in any particular way to open up the material in the PowerPoints as you watch or listen to the video. Okay? So this is a course, Introduction to Counseling, that is uh, in some ways uh, a bit unusual for the community college level, but it is not rare. I have constructed this course to include many basic issues that you will need to know about. In some cases, what you will directly use if you become a counselor or therapist, or psychologist, social worker, uh, and, and so this really is a fundamental professional course. And we're going to treat it like a professional course as well, okay? Um, I'm a licensed clinician and have been licensed as a clinician since the early 90s. Have had a, quite a bit of education at various schools. And uh, uh, what's most important to know is that I am very interested in providing for you a realistic view of what counseling really is. Now, secondly, I think it's important to know that a lot of these things are very useful just for anyone to know about, okay? Because there's a lot of information that has to do with the way we interact with people in good ways, in ways that are helpful, which then translates not just to the profession of counseling, of course, but to your own interpersonal relationships. Okay. So, first thing to know is that uh, if you want to get a hold of me, know that I don't have an office right now because we had electrical problems in buildings, and I won't have an office until February or March at the earliest, and I'll let you know when I get an office. But until then, the way to contact me is through my email at rwedemeyer. Dot e -D -U, r w e d e m e y e r at rose.edu. Do not email me using Raider Rose and do not try to communicate with me through Canvas. Just use the Raider Rose email, okay? Now, when you submit some of the work that I'll discuss in a little bit, you will be putting that on Canvas. That's a different issue. Talking to me directly, if you have questions, use the rwedemeyer uh, at rose.edu, okay? All right. So, what's the next thing? Well, the, the next thing is that we are meeting in uh, the Health Sciences Center, or what we call Allied Health, in room 143. Okay, and and so that's on the first floor there. Uh, I think there's only one floor, as a matter of fact. Uh, but it's a good classroom. It's a nice classroom, and we're meeting on Tuesday and Thursday evenings from five forty to six fifty-five. Okay, this will be a traditional lecture course, but it will also include in-class exercises. It will include. Uh, exercises that you're going to do outside of class and a manual, demonstrations that I'll offer you, some film clips, discussion, and of course the video lectures and assigned readings in the textbook. Now, we have two books, okay? The first one is this one, okay? This is The Counseling Experience by Kavanaugh and Levitoff. It's the second edition, 2002. Very inexpensive. 
about 30 bucks. Okay, so you can get this almost any place. And I would suggest you take a look for it in, uh, oh, maybe uh, Amazon or Chegg uh, or even the bookstore. The bookstore has it, I think, for about 30, 35, something like that. Okay. It is a fine book. It is one of the most, it's one of the best books. If it would cost a hundred bucks, I'd still be recommending it, but I'm glad it's cheap. It's a great book. There's almost no jargon in it. I love this book, and so will you, and you're going to have to read it, at least the parts that I assign. Okay, second required book is this one. It's called Exercises for Introduction to Counseling, and as you might notice, I wrote it. It is a spiral-bound spiral -bound manual that is full of exercises and discussion questions that you will do. And at the end of the semester, you're going to turn in the completed manual to me. Okay? So you need to be doing this as we move along. I'll get to that in a little bit. Okay. Now, we have a few things we need to do with respect to classroom rules of engagement. My job is partly to make sure the classroom is orderly and moving along smoothly. So we want to raise our hands when we have a comment or question. Uh, and no question or comment is, uh, is out of bounds. As long as it's pertaining to the material, we're good. But that way we don't talk over each other if you raise your hand. Come to class on time and stay the whole period unless you have something you must go to, in which case you're going to need to take a class. You're going to arrive early and take a seat near the door so you don't disturb people. And let me know you're going to do that. But that should only be rare under rare circumstances. Avoid side conversations that continue. We don't want to do those. We can hear you, and you are uh, you are disrupting us. Okay, so don't be disruptive in any ways. Actually, um, stay awake. I know it's going to be tough. We all work during the day, or most of us, so it's going to be tough. Or we have kids, or whatever. It's hard. I feel your pain. I'll be in pain with you. How about that? And then. It's okay to have a drink, not, not to eat in class, because you're going to have to open your mask up to do that, and we don't want to do that. Have a drink, but use a straw. Get a straw. Get a straw. You can slip it up on your mask. I'm real serious about these things, okay? All right. Please turn your phone on to vibrate if you have the potential to have an emergency or necessary call coming in. But please otherwise turn your phone off and put it away so that you're not tempted. I want you fully engaged in the classroom, okay? This is a professional course, a professional higher education course. And as I said before, we will treat it as such. All right. No one is allowed in the classroom except people who are uh, registered for the course. So no children, uh, no guests, and no emotional support animals, which are usually dogs, if it's a if it's a a, uh, a officially designated service dog or other animal, hopefully it's a dog, They have you have to go through a process, go to student services, special services uh, in the library, uh, the ORC on the first floor of the north end, and they'll tell you how to go through that process. We want you to have your service dog, but emotional support chickens and stuff like that, no, I don't think so. Okay, attendance. So this class is presented as an asynchronous flex class. So what that means, asynchronous means, I don't use, uh, I don't use a, a live video uh, methodology. I record videos, as you may have noticed, of our lectures, including this one, which you've already found, haven't you? And put them on Canvas associated with each topic we cover. Okay? That way, if you're not going to class or you miss a class, you can get it easily that way and you can watch it as many times as you want. Now, those lectures will be somewhat smaller because there won't be anybody asking any questions. It's just me as I am right now talking and continuing to talk, but covering the same material in the same ways as we would in class. Okay? Now, if you're not going to attend in the first two weeks of class, whether or not you attend any time after that doesn't matter. You have to contact me. If I don't hear from you in the first two weeks... 
then I have to withdraw you. And that's on February the 1st, on Monday. I have no choice. Don't want to do it? Have to do it. So you've got to get with me in the first two weeks. If you're not in class, at least once, okay? All right. Being in class is preferable unless you have overwhelming, overriding issues that keep you from doing that, okay? I appreciate that we are in a dangerous time in terms of COVID, but this class will exercise distancing, and I'll talk about masks and distancing in a minute, but I understand if you do not wish to be here, be sure to let me know in the first two weeks that you're not here in person, but you are paying attention and you are doing the work otherwise, okay? Now, it will not be necessary to tell me you will not be in class on any given night after the first two weeks, excuse me, because I'll know you're not here. I'll call the roll. You won't be here. So don't send me an email telling me you won't be here, okay? Otherwise, I get deluged with emails. Stay in the class the entire time in addition to coming on time. I know it's hard to get here on time, but please be here on time. And, you know, oh, if you if you do arrive late, be very careful. Be see me after class so I know you're here and I'll put you on the put you on the roll that's here, okay? Just in case we need to do contact tracing later, we'll have you there. Um in the rare case that you have to leave early any given night, which should not be a habit. See me before class and let me know you're going to do that and sit near the door, which means you need to get there a little early to sit, sit near the door because someone will already be in that ch chair, I guarantee you. All right. Talk about face masks and those sorts of things. So I want to talk a little bit about some things that don't ordinarily now get picked up in the news and talked about. So wash your hands frequently during the day. Anytime you use the restroom, after you exit, if you're going to exit the door, use your elbow to exit, okay? Wash your hands, the point is. Wash frequently during the day. And don't touch your face, especially not your eyes, your nose, or your ears, or your mouth. Because you can transmit a virus easily. Now, wear a mask, but when you are going to take off your mask, take it off behind your ears with your, with your fingers and set it aside. If it's cloth and you want to reuse it, wait a day or two, then the virus will be dead. You can wash it. You don't have to touch it. See? If it's paper, you should be throwing it away anyway. If you're going to use it again, I get it, but you got to leave it for a few days. Now, remember, when you take it off, what the reason you're doing this is you're not touching the front. You got to assume that you have viral particles on the front of your mask. And then if you touch it, you got it on your fingers and you can transmit it yourself if you're not or if you're not positive. If you are positive, we don't want it on your hands anyway because you don't want to put the virus particles on any surface that somebody else would touch. You see. Okay. Um, and then after you take your 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 mask off, set it aside and wash your hands. Okay? All right. Remember to socially distance wherever possible. If, you're, if you come into class without a mask, we have to send you away to get a mask, and then you can come back. If you do it repeatedly, then we'll have to get somebody to talk to you about this. Okay? So remember to wear a mask. All right. Now, uh, you know, wearing a mask and all these other things are about protecting each other. You're protecting me, and I'm going to protect you. It's called empathy. It's one of the ingredients that that we have to have when we do counseling. When we're human beings, we have to access our empathy, okay? We have to assume that we're capable of transmitting the virus or acquiring it, and we have to treat each other with empathy and carefulness and protection, okay? Okay. All right. Uh, again, uh, let's, well, we've already talked about that enough. Let's talk about grades and grading. That's what you really want to know about. So there'll be five different scores and an extra credit discussion question you can do it near the end of the course, okay? So what'll, what they'll be are four separate discussion questions that I will open when we finish a, a series of sections. I'll give you a week to take them, and then it closes. You Before it closes, you have to submit the file that you have the material you have to Canvas. Very easy to see how to do that. 
It's very intuitive. You just get on there and pop it in. I will read it, I will grade it, and I'll put the grade on Canvas. Okay? Very simple. The other thing you'll have is this manual. This manual is timed to coincide with what we study in class. So when we get to the syllabus, which you'll see in a minute, what I ask you to do in the manual is tied to what we do in class. Okay? This is a well-done, well-prepared, well-synchronized class. Okay? So, because I'm not collecting these from you every week or every two weeks, you have to do these as they're assigned in the syllabus and not wait to the end of the course. A, it doesn't do you any good to learn the material at a deeper level to do it that way. And two, you're just jamming. You're just, you're just jamming it all in. You're not really paying any attention. I know. I've been there. I have done that. I was an undergrad at one time. Don't do that because I regret doing the, the times that I did stuff like that. Don't do it. Cramming doesn't work, okay? Same thing with the text. Read it as it's assigned. That's also timed to correspond to what we talk about in the classroom and on the videos. Now, no late materials will be accepted. These discussion questions will be open for a week, and the manual is essentially open all semester to get it done. So nothing late will be accepted. Nope. No late. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. No. Okay. Now, those are five scores, each of which is worth 100 points. Okay. So your total possible points is 500. You could do it by points. And on a 10-point scale, 90% of 500 is 450 points or higher. So you could do 450 or higher points as an A and so forth and so on. I have this all in your syllabus, as you may be seeing. And you'll see the accumulated point totals in Canvas as we go through the semester. I will grade these things very quickly so that you will know what your grades are at any given moment. I need a few days to grade them, but uh, you see. Okay. The, uh, the extra credit question is due at the end of the semester. I'll tell you what that date is. It's listed, but if you are not getting a score, so you're getting a really low score, something happened, you didn't do it, I don't... You can sub this in, assuming that it's a higher score than your lowest score already recorded. Now, these discussion questions, of which there are four, are writing assignments. Writing is a skill that you learn over time. You can't be a good writer all of a sudden, I don't believe. But I want you to learn how to be a better writer, and there's some reasons for that. One is you're going to be writing a lot as you move forward in your education, should you do that, particularly if you're going into psychology or social work, you're going to be writing a lot. But the second reason is, I think, more important, really, and that is that writing well means thinking well. It means organizing your thoughts in a concise and precise way and presenting those. That's really what good thinking is, actually, isn't it? Okay. So I want you to learn how to be a better writer, which means I learn, want you to learn how to be a better thinker. All right. Now I have a grading rubric, rubric for each of these questions. The first thing is that they need to be they need to be 250 words. Okay, 250 words. Okay. The uh, the 250 words for each is uh, if you do 250 words, that's uh, 50 points. And then, uh, hold on a second. 250 words, that's 50 points. Okay, that's a minimum. And it's not hard to get 250. And you'll see your, your word total on Microsoft Word in the lower left-hand uh, corner. It tells you how many words this are. This syllabus is, uh, it looks like a, tw uh, a thousand words, something, two thousand words, I forget. Uh, okay, so then you get 25 points for the grammar and the syntax and the punctuation and the capitalization, all the mechanics of writing, and then you get another 25 points for having responded thoughtfully and accurately to convey the material. Okay, so I want you to start on it and keep up with it through the semester. Okay. All right. 
Um, if you need help, we have a writing lab in the, in the humanities division. We have the tutoring center, and I will help you if I can. Okay? I really want to be of help to you. Now, those exercises in the manual are fairly easy to do. Okay? They are fairly easy to do. Um, they only really require per chapter 20 minutes, 30 minutes, very few. Okay? Um, it, it is really a series of narrative explanation periodically through a chapter and then exercises and or discussion questions, okay? Now, the discussion question has to, each of those have to have at least three complete subject, verb, object sentences answering the discussion question. The exercises don't require, they're not discussion questions. You don't have to write anything about them except to complete the exercise, but it's the discussion question. And in every chapter, there's at least a few, okay? So I'll be looking to see that you did that and that you responded, and I'm going to read everything, trust me, I will, everything with thoughtfulness and directly related to what's being asked, okay? But I'm mostly interested not in correct answers, but in what you think. How do, how do you think through this? So the narrative gives you a structure and facts and ideas, and then I will be asking you to give me your information and ideas, this is self, for the most part, just getting ideas from you. In some cases, there are some right and wrong answers, but it'll be obvious what those are. So, for example, in the first chapter, I discuss about how there are different definitions of what counseling is. I offer you mine. And then one of the first questions is, I think the first question is, well, what's your definition of counseling? See? Okay. Now, the rubric for grading the manual is as follows. 50 points for handing in the, the manual fully completed. 50 points for providing thoughtful responses to all discussion questions, which means, once again, at least three complete sentences. And, 100, and then a, that means 100 points are available for the entire manual. That's a fifth of your grade. Okay? Okay. All right. Now, let's look at the syllabus. Do you have it there? Okay. We'll talk about what counseling is, the second and third nights. And then we'll, you know, we'll go over the, a lot of the basics of what it is and what it isn't and, how, and what, what it constitutes counseling and so on. And then we'll talk about the range of treatments. What kind of treatments are there? Then we'll talk about the psychology fields and requirements. So you'll get to see about how if, depending on what you want for the future to what you want to do, what kind of education and stuff you have to have, what the licenses are and what they require, that kind of stuff, okay? Then we'll talk about two subjects, the counselor and the client and what they bring to counseling. Then we'll talk about ethics for a couple of nights and what that looks like. What are the ethics of providing professional counseling services? And then I'll open up the first discussion question. Then we're going to talk about several different forms of counseling. One is psychoanalytic psychotherapy and psychodynamic psychotherapy. Then we'll talk about person-centered counseling. Then we'll look at therapeutic listening skills. And then question two is open for a week. And you have spring break. Then the car cuff model. And then we'll talk about existential counseling. I think you're going to dig that. And some of you are going to really like the next one, gestalt counseling. Then the third discussion question. And then behavior counseling, cognitive behavior counseling, and discussion four. And then we'll talk about eclectic psychotherapy, where you put different forms together. And then how to know what kinds of treatment and style of therapy goes best with what kind of problem. Your extra credit question is open a week before it's due. It will be open on 5-6, and it will have to be handed in on Canvas no later than 5-13 at 5-40. Uh, maybe six o'clock. I'll probably open it all the way until the end of that class. Okay.
All right. Sound good? Hope so. So remember that the uh, the uh, AWs are coming up. Remember that uh, that uh, your last chance to withdraw from the class is 420. I have a table of these dates. You might want to look. Uh, and uh, and I, I take my role very seriously. I have a number of things that I put here uh, that have to do with my role and what I'm going to do, and that is starting and stopping class on time and calling roll, preventing, pre presenting, <laughs> preventing, presenting relevant and current information, and so forth and so on. Um, uh, I, I really want to be equal and, and, and positive, and I want to create a classroom culture that's caring and consistent and gives everybody an identical opportunity to learn the material. Okay? All right. So you take care of yourself, and I will see you very soon. Bye.